Hi, this is Ronald Harika, and I'm going to show you Ajax at Commons from an admin user's perspective. And what you'll see here is several options. And the first option I'm going to show you is the Edit button. And you'll notice that when you click on the Edit button, a new box shows up over Ajax at Commons 2.0. And it's called Color Box, and it's a lot faster than the thick box we used before. So it should show up, and it's a little spiffy looking. So let's go ahead and edit this comment real quick. Um, the advanced settings allow you to adjust the comment time and adjust the comment status. And we're not interested in that at the moment. So let's go ahead and save this comment. And my name should reflect the link I added. And the, the link button feature shows up. So the next feature I'll show you is the move comment feature. If a commenter has left a comment on the wrong post, you can uh, click on the button and place a comment in the right post. So you can browse by post, you can search by title, if you know the title name, and if you know the post ID, you can also search by that. So let's go and click out of that real quick. Now since I added a link to my post, I can delink it, and you would want to delink a uh, comment if someone has left a genuine comment but left a spammy link, and you don't want any link juice to get shared so if we click on the link it's the link uh, link is removed let's undo that real quick and just restore that link you can also moderate a comment let's go ahead and prove it you can spam it let's prove it again and the next major feature I'm going to show you is a blacklist feature and this is new to Ajax at a comment 3.0 the reason you would want to blacklist a comment is say someone's left some spammy comments and you don't want them visiting again, you can actually select all the options. You can blacklist the name, the URL, email address, IP address, and you can also go to the advanced settings and spam comments that match any of their criteria. So if I click on name, for example, anything that matches Ron Rico will be marked as spam. Uh, URL, any, any URL that matches my, that URL will be marked as spam. And if you mark two options or three options, it'll work like a conditional and. So if the name and URL match, then it will be marked as spam. So it's a very powerful but dangerous feature. Be careful, there's no undo function for this. So let's go back to the main screen and let's go blacklist a comment. Now it's successfully blacklisted. Uh, one comment was marked as spam according to your criteria. And let's look at the discussion settings. And you'll see that all four of those have showed up there. And if we refresh this, you'll see that the uh, comment was indeed marked as spam. And let's go to our spam box. So you see, this is another test comment. That's the one that was just marked as spam. Now let's go ahead and uh, prove this real quick. Go back to our all comment screen. Let's go back to the post. And I'm going to show you the next major feature that Ajax at a comment 3.0 introduces. And that's the undo feature. Uh, you'll notice I did it earlier, but if you click on D-Link, you can undo that. If you click on Moderate, you can undo that. Uh, spam, you can undo that as well. Uh, you can't undo the Blacklist Remove feature, but you can undo the Delete feature. So if I click on Delete, you see that the comment is deleted. If I refresh this, you'll see that it's no longer there. undo it, there it is again. So that is undo in a nutshell. Now you'll notice that there's a lot of options here, uh, seven in fact. With the Ajax edit comments, if you go to the settings page and go into the style section, you can actually change the way they look. And you can determine the icon display. So say you want no icons. So let's go ahead and update the settings. Go back to the post. And you'll see that the icons have been removed. Now say you want to have the icons, but you want to change the icon set. You don't particularly like the, the default icon set. Well, 3.0, you can choose between several icon sets. And let's go ahead and select Shadow. And 
you'll notice that the icons have changed. And the icons are a little cluttered. So 3.0 introduces a new feature, which is the drop down. You can select that from the icon display. So let's go ahead and select drop down. And now all the icons are grouped together. You've got the edit button, and then you've got the more options button. And you can go ahead and select from that. And I see how it looks in the admin panel. You'll see it's much less cluttered. So those are HX Edit Comments 3.0 uh, improvements in a nutshell. Thank you for watching.